So will we actually get a Pokemon Black and White 3 one day in the future? Personally, I think it's possible. I think it's 100% a real possibility that we actually could get Black and White 3, but I have a lot of like different factors that kind of go into that. Firstly, Black and White Generation 5, it's obviously an amazing like series of Pokemon games. While the original games, Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2, didn't really sell the best when they were released, they have built a really positive and good reputation for themselves as debatably the best Pokemon games ever made, which personally, Generation 5 is my favorite generation. I know, you could say I'm on the bandwagon, but I've always thought that. And Black and White 3 has a huge name to it, right? Like, there's some fan trailers online about Black and White 3, made by Nintendo and some other people. Nintendo's actually my friend, so make sure to go check out his channel. But those videos have massive views, and so many people comment and, like, love love the possibility of this happening like black and white 3 is probably one of the most searched i guess you could say fan made pokemon games out there because people want it so bad the storyline of generation 5 and black and white is so good also guys we're doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers for a 20 dollars nintendo eShop gift card that you can use on your nintendo switch so all you have to do after that giveaway is like this video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below and then stay tuned for future videos so whether or not it would actually be called Black and White 3, that's kind of debatable, right? I feel like it wouldn't be called Black and White 3, I feel like it's still possible, but I feel like they would probably do the same storyline that they would do for Black and White 3, but name it something like Pokemon Legends Kiram or Legends Unova or whatever. I think they would do it in a Legends style game because that gives them the, the ability to kind of change out the formula, the format a little bit, make it more of an open world game. And not really like how the original games are the linear playstyle, whatever, where, you know, you're playing as a trainer with all the sprites and all this and that, which I love that animation and art style. But if we're if we're talking about a future Pokemon game, I really don't think they're going to go back to that anytime soon. I feel like they're going to do that for remakes. I don't think any brand new Pokemon game coming out is going to have like the sprites, uh, the, you know, the animations like that. Which is unfortunate, but it's okay. But with a legend style black and white game, that allows them to have a different 3D you know, animation style, open world of Unova region, which will give us, the players, a brand new view and look at the Unova region because we have played it in black and white and black and white too. So we've already been to the Unova region twice, so we kind of already have played that. But let me talk about that really quickly too. A lot of people actually can't play black and white or black and white too because they're super expensive. I know you could also, you know, be a little sailor, if you know what I'm saying, get the games that way. But a lot of people don't do that. They don't, and they can't afford the games. So... A lot of people will never have the chance, which is sad. Maybe the price will go down one day. And there have also been like a lot of hints over the last couple of months or even year about Generation 5, which could just be Pokemon or Nintendo, whatever, just showing love to Generation 5. Like there were some Instagram posts about Zekrom and Reshiram. There's like no caption to that. The Blueberry Academy in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, I'm pretty sure it was located in the Unova region. It was heavily based around like dual battles where you have two Pokemon, which is very reminiscent of Pokemon Black and White. And a lot of like the, the leader and a lot of like the gym leaders, whatever, in that DLC were actually related to gym leaders from the Nova region, I'm pretty sure. So like there are a ton of connections and little hints or Easter eggs or teases or whatever to Generation 5, which as we know, the Pokemon Company, Game Freak and all that, they kind of like to give us hints or teases as to like what the future games are gonna be like. They'll put a picture of like, a village in Brazil or something, and that could mean the next generation is going to take place in Brazil, you know, stuff like that. So, like, there have just been so many hints and stuff. That That's why I think we're going to get a new Pokemon Black and White or Unova game one day. I definitely don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Obviously, Pokemon Legend Z is coming out next. That's coming out early 2025, I believe. Probably on the next console, which they haven't announced yet, but they probably will announce soon. I don't think we're going to get a Pokemon game this year. I feel like they would have announced it by now. I don't think they're going to announce a Pokemon game and then release it like a month later. I don't think that'd be smart for them. So I think they're going to skip this year, which is sad, but it's a good thing. You know, hopefully that means more quality over quantity from the Pokemon company. And I'm pretty sure that the devs were asked about the possibility of a Black and White 3 happening. I can't find the clip. If I can find the clip, I'll put it here. If I can't, I'll just talk about it. And what I remember them saying is basically they were happy about how the story ended. They were happy ending with Pokemon Black and White 2. But they also said they were happy about like the possibility of an extended story or something like that. And with a story, 
I personally believe any story can continue like it. And no, there's no way every single story is completely done. If if you think about it, those characters in that world, I know it's not real. I'm not trying to be crazy here. I know it's not real, but they would still be living their life, you know, doing whatever. And with the Unova region, there's probably going to be some more threats or imminent doom or whatever in the future. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the storyline could probably be based way after the fact of Black and White 2, or maybe even way before if we're going with like a legend style game maybe they could do a prequel to the black and white series i don't know i don't have a storyline in my mind because i'm not a story i'm not a story writer by any means or anything but i i really do think that they can add or go back to the storyline you know what i'm saying or even like not even as the typical pokemon format where you're the good guy you're fighting the bad guy like we could even play a game like as the bad guy like as getsis or n or something like that I think that would be super cool and super, super interesting because those are honestly, because those are also debatably some of the coolest Pokemon, I guess, quote unquote, villains you in the, in the whole franchise. And I, I just know that the fans would go crazy about a black and white three and we're, de and we're definitely getting black and white remakes eventually, probably after generation 10, I would assume that's probably the next game after generation 10, which generation 10 will probably be released like 2020 seven maybe 2026 something like that we're definitely a couple years away definitely not going to come out on the switch i i feel like pokemon is probably done with the switch and if they release legend z on the switch i'm going to be very surprised with that although they could do like the thing that xbox and playstation did they could release it on the switch and the next console but except the switch version would obviously just have less good animation and graphics and stuff like that but I definitely think the fans want Black and White 3. I personally want Black and White 3 or just another Unova line, not another, or just another Unova game. And going on into the future, like when we hit Generation or something like that, there are going to be so many different Pokemon games, so many different regions. And I feel like one day they're going to just want to slow down and stop giving us new regions, but rather giving us games based in regions we already have, but just like new storylines, a different look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that would be a really good idea for them because i personally think it's great and it's super fun to go back to old regions and everything i think it's fun to play the old pokemon games you know it's always it's always a blast i did a video about this a couple months ago like maybe they're going to do a huge pokemon mega map to like wrap up 10 generations like after generation 10 maybe they'll do like one single pokemon game kind of mix up every single pokemon map all 10 of them and just kind of like wrap up that pokemon game to kind of start fresh like re reboot the franchise because we're gonna get to a point where there are just way too many freaking pokemon you know what i'm saying like we already have i think like 1300 pokemon or something around that number like it's over a thousand i'm pretty sure anyways that's for a whole different video but let me know what you guys think do you want to see black and white 3 do you want to see another unova game i've made a couple videos about this but it's been a long time since i've actually made a black and white 3 video i just feel like we're gonna get it one day i don't think it's gonna be anytime soon but i just feel like it's coming one day hope you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time